right now. Our Vegas Golden Knights are in the middle of round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Whoop, whoop. Their current rival, the Dallas Stars. So here to talk more about our 2-0 record with me is VGK host Darren Millard. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I mean, my energy's up. I've got my Shoot, gold on. <laughs> on fire today. I'm feeling like, I, I just I'm getting into the day. You're like owning it. <laughs> I'm already there. Yeah. I'm already there. Well, we're in round one. What yeah. has this been like, Darren? Uh, surprising and impressive and a lot of fun so far. Uh, we're used to the Golden Knights opening a lot of their series at home and then watching it develop. Uh, this has been a little different, uh, starting on the road, being a wild card team and facing the top ranked team in the Western Conference and the Dallas Stars uh, and watching it open on the road. Game number one was back and forth and uh, unpredictable. Game two, they locked it in. Yeah. And uh, it, was, uh, it was big boy hockey, a lot of hits, a lot of physical play. And uh, they got better as the, the game went on. And they're coming home with a 2 nothing lead, uh, winning the first two games on the road for the first time ever. Yes. And I can't wait to see what the atmosphere is going to be like tomorrow night at the Fortress. Yeah, it's going to be so exciting. I mean, I, I keep saying it. I think we're part of the best fans out there. Yeah. I mean, I might be a little biased, but I mean, we are so, so excited for our team. So we kind of talked about how they've been doing, but what do you what do you think they need to keep up with that momentum and in going into this next game? So the discipline of their game, and nobody likes to talk about discipline. Discipline's boring. We don't want to discipline <laughs> our kids. We don't want to hold them uh, accountable because uh, it's, just, it's just boring. Uh, I, I think if they can maintain that part of their game and transfer over what they were, the simplicity uh, aspect uh, to what they did uh, on the road in Dallas and be able to carry that forward uh, will be key. Not, don't take chances, don't take unnecessary risks and just uh, capitalize on the opportunities when you get them. Uh, that's key. Defensively, they've been incredibly efficient yes. uh, so far. And uh, on the offensive side, uh, Jonathan Marsh so scored in both games. Uh, Jack Eichel has two points uh, in each game. He's got a four-point uh, playoff going. So he's actually one of the rare people that uh, whose production goes up in the Stanley Cup playoffs compared yeah. to the regular season. That never happens. Jack Eichel's been great, uh, and, and uh, the boys in the blue line have been, have been awesome. So uh, if they can just keep things contained and not get caught up, Mm -hmm. We can have fun. Yes. But the, the players not get caught up in doing, uh, trying to do too much. Uh, I think they've got a pretty good recipe for success here and pulling off one of the bigger upsets in the, that are potentially available in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible to watch. And uh, you actually get to host not only the pregame, you're hosting during and postgame. Yeah. So what has this been like for you to sort of be part of all of this excitement? Well, I'll compare it to where I came from in Canada forever and uh, and. and more conservative environment, more conservative hockey fans. Uh, I call it a an absolute party at T-Mobile. <laughs> yeah. Every game is a fresh party and everybody gets dressed up and it's New Year's Eve every yes. night. And uh, so that aspect of it, the energy of the building is, is fantastic. Uh, but to be able to uh, work for a hockey club that is competitive every night, every season, every spring, uh, and knowing that you're going to have a chance to compete uh, for a Stanley Cup and watch them complete the ultimate goal is is awesome because there's so many franchises out there that just waffle through. Not Vegas. It's yeah. it's you're in it to win it. Well, you know, we kind of know with this sport, there's a little bit of superstitions, you know, mm. things you don't just really want to say. Just yeah. a couple. I mean, I have gold on my nails, mm. and I don't know that I'm going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> so I may keep it going. So what are some of those, like, superstitions? Do you think anybody has it even playing, of one of the players or anything like that? So there's uh, guys will use a certain color stick tape. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or, or they'll uh, tape their stick in a certain pattern. Uh, Putting skates on. Uh, do you put your skates on uh, before you put your hockey pants on and uh, and pull them oh, up even over to that, or, or, that or degree. left skate, right wow. skate, or or what you do? Uh, I know that uh, I've talked to a couple of players recently actually uh, about this, and as they've gone on through the course of their careers, they've kind of dialed it back. But early on in their careers, if they missed a step right. in the in the pregame process when they get to the rink. They go back and they'd have to make it up and, oh and do it. Oh my goodness! But, uh, uh, as you go along, you you kind of 
dial it back a little yeah. bit. But I, I can't wait to see everybody wearing gold. Everybody's supposed to wear gold yes. at the Fortress. Yes. So you've got it going on. I I've can't wait to it. see I've got it. I'm gold. ready to go. Yeah. Darren, thank you so much for joining yeah. us this morning. We're so, so excited. Game three, round one is happening tomorrow night. You can watch starting at 7 p.m. on Vegas 34. You can also watch the simulcast on ABC after the NBA playoff game.